What's up? So, that is the Pallet Palace. That's my shed. Here's a quick video all about it. So this shed basically cost me nothing in terms of raw materials. It's made out of 134 pallets, which I've cut down, broken up, stuck together in various ways. A free door, a free roof, some free scaffold boards or Facebook Marketplace, and it works pretty nicely. Here's a quick bit about how I built it. So starting off down at the bottom, we've got nine pallets, which form the base of it. I've put them up on like bricks, rocks, boulders, bits of concrete, all sorts of things to make it a nice level base. Screwed them all together and that's my nice level floor. It's about three and a half meters wide, four meters deep. Good start. Then on that base, I started building up the sides. So literally just pallet, 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 pallet till it went all the way around and then a second layer. So it's about two and a bit meters tall all the way around. The problem with pallets is they're all slightly different sizes. So it's a little bit uneven, but that kind of adds to the, the character of it. So once that structure was there, uh, I had to clad it in a membrane uh, so it's a waterproof membrane which keeps the whole of the inside nice and dry um, it cost me about 20 quid it was a second off ebay and i've still got loads of it left which i need to uh, find a use for but yeah whole thing was wrapped in this membrane just to keep it nice and dry inside and then the next thing i needed was a roof um, i had no real plans for this i thought i'd just get some bits of wood or something but it turns out local farmer also happens to be my dad had an old side of a stable lying in the side of a barn which had been there for like 30 years unused so i chucked that on the back of a trailer brought it over here cut it up into sort of six foot squares which are big enough small enough for me to lift up stick on the roof laid them on some timbers which were going back to front across the, uh, the shed and i had a roof i then had to put some roofing felt on it i had some of that lying around fortunately so roofing felt on top of that then it had sealed sides sealed top nice dry shed and once I had that structure in place, I had the task of cutting up what felt like about three million pallets uh, in order to make these, which are the slats from pallets, which I've used for cladding the sides and for the floorboards indoors. Uh, and essentially, this was just a quite an arduous task of circular saw, upper pallet, bang, bang, and then uh, mitre saw just to get 90 degree angles in the end of each piece, and then hammering them in all the way around, round and round and round, until the whole of the shed was clad. I then coated that in a layer of creosote to make it waterproof and hopefully last a few years. And that's basically it. I also added these window boxes. I don't know if they are window boxes. I don't have windows, but they're quite nice. Just ends of pallets, filled them with some earth, put some bulbs in. And now we've got some nice flowers. Hey, one more bit, the door. I just built a little uh, timber sort of stud frame around it and uh, screwed some hinges in. Door's a door, isn't it? So there you go, that's a whistle stop tour of how I built the structure of the shed. Let's go have a look inside. So the shed is basically split into three sections. This bit behind me is where all the bicycle stuff lives. Got one hanging on the wall, got some spare wheels, spare tires and that sort of stuff up there. One on the turbo down here, TV, screen, computer, is all plugged in, ready to go for a bit of Zwift. Um, and yeah, basically everything I need for my bikes is in here, got a work stand in the corner, tinker with things, and it means it's all out of the house, nice and tidy, nice and easy place to keep stuff organized. So this middle part of the shed is effectively sort of tool storage workshop kind of area. Uh, I've got scaffold board worktops, got all my tools on the wall here, I've got another couple of toolboxes and some power tools underneath. But essentially just nice area, anything I need to do DIY wise, it's just in here, nice and easy all in the right place, it just works. Then final bit of the shed is over here. It's my gardening area. I'm not quite Monty Don just yet, but um, yeah, some secateurs and some other bits and bobs. Um, do need to add to it and get a bit better at the whole gardening side of things, because I don't really know what I'm doing and everything pretty much just died last year. But I have eaten some broccoli in the last week, which I grew myself, so things are looking up for 2021. But yeah, gardening stuff, few pots of paint, that kind of thing. General sheddy kind of things, I guess, over here. But yeah, three main bits, bit of bicycles, bit of tools, bit of workshop, bit of gardening. What more could you want from a shed? 
So there you go, that is the Pallet Palace, my shed. 134 pallets, a few scaffold boards, all totally free. Way better than anything you can get in B&Q. If you were to go and buy a load of two before and build something like this yourself, it would cost you thousands. So pallets are really a brilliant building block. Um, and it's basically just like putting together a Lego set and you just screw it together, job done. Uh, I've got some Hue light bulbs in there in case I need the room to be orange, red, green, blue, whatever. Totally pointless, bit of fun. But yeah, there you go. It serves its purpose well. I've got a few more bits to add in the next few months, but for a free shed, you can't beat that, can you?